Hello, hello, and welcome hello. to uh, welcome to Two Guys One Cup, a new podcast uh, about two guys. And uh... wait, wait a minute! I didn't agree to this. <laughs> yeah, we can't name it that. <laughs> I, I, I was sitting here watching this Hearthstone trailer that looks like a shitty eighties. Um... I really like that trailer, the the Cobalt and Catacombs I, one. I'm only eleven seconds in, and then you said, "Hey, we're two dudes, one cup." <laughs> What, what's the cup even? Well, what's in the cup? I got a big cup of water here. Oh, oh so we're gonna fight over? We're gonna fight over fucking water like animals? Oh, I, I didn't on, say that. On the Sahara Desert? Oh. Is this gonna be the Lion King? Yeah, yeah, actually, it is. Yeah? Who's Simba? Uh, me. Or are, are, are we Timon and Pumbaa? I'm Simba and you're, you're uh, Malachi. Which one's that? Uh, one of the giraffes. <laughs> I'm one of the gir- I don't think any of them were names. I think you just made that up. All right, fine. We'll name the podcast Simba and Giraffe Number One. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to name? It? We'll be fucking sued out of our asses. Who's gonna sue us, Simba? We'll just say we speak Afrikaans. They can't sue us. We- Simba's the name for Af- for the word for Af- for lion in Afrikaans. <laughs> no. No, it's not. I could yes, ask it is, my, actually. I could ask my friends from South Africa this, and you would be wrong. Yeah, I could ask her too, seeing as I'm getting married. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Forgot about that. How's that going, by the way? Uh, great, I'm getting married. Uh, not actually getting married for you new, first-time podcast listeners. Uh, I'm single and available and good-looking. If hey. Interested. If you're over the, over the when, age of 19 years old... Looking for a nice twenty-one-year-old man. You're you're fucking cheating on her. Uh, I'm not she's cheating gonna on listen to anybody. this, and she's gonna be fucking distraught because I'm gonna send this to her. Uh, I'm not cheating on anybody, Zach. It's hard. To you just... are a fucking cheater. It's a polyamorous relationship. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> You just wanted to sound smart at this debate about you being a cheater? I think it means that you you uh, polyamorize. I think it means that you have multiple multiple spouses. I think it's let like me, the sister wives. Let me, so you're Mormon? Yeah. Didn't I tell Poly, you? What, what is this poly... Po- polyamorous. Am. Polyamorous. All right. Wikipedia. Poly, polyamory. Is the practice of or desire for intimate relationships with more than one partner, with the knowledge of all partners. See, it's been described you. as consensual, ethical, and responsible non-monogamy. Basically, you're a fucking Mormon. Hey, at least I knew what I was talking about, even if I didn't know the actual words. And also, Mormons don't do that. That's just a big conspiracy. That's, that's from big then, Mormon. They don't actually do that. They outlawed that years ago. Then... then Tell me about the fucking sister wives or whatever <laughs> with the Mormon guy. They weren't real Mormons. Where's your uh, factual evidence for this? Uh, the sister wives Wikipedia page. <laughs> yeah, let me look this up. Let me fucking look. They're this just up. a polygamist family. They're not actually Mormons. Sister wives. <laughs> I'm on it right now. <laughs> Sister Wives. The it's Brown an American family. reality television series broadcast on TLC that premiered on September 26, 2010. The show documents the life of a polygamous family, which includes patriarch Cody Brown, his four wives, and their 18 children. The family began the series living in Lehi, Le- 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 Utah, but has since moved to Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, of course, of course they lived in the Las Vegas yeah, well, when you got 18 kids. Brown and his four wives have stated that they participated in the show to make the public more aware of a polygamous family, of, of polygamous families, and to combat social prejudices. I just feel, I just feel bad for the kids, all 18 of them. Brown believes his polygamous arrangement is legal, but he is legally married only to one woman. Oh, yeah, I guess. Other marriages are spiritual unions. The series led to the Brown family being investigated for possible prosecution. Seven seasons, 114 episodes, 
The executive producers were Timothy Gibbons, Bill Hayes, Christopher Poole, and Kirk Streb. I just I just feel bad for some of these kids, you know. Like uh, this one kid named Mike Helty. That's not a name. Where are their names? If you scroll oh. down to children. All right, we got Logan Taylor, <laughs> Aspen. We're kind of fucking. These weird. these people are real people. Like they might be watching. We shouldn't make fun of their names. <laughs> I'm gonna. If if you're if you're from Sister Wives and you're watching our shit podcast, uh, don't be offended. Feel free to call us names in the comments. Um, McKelty. McKelty. McKelty and Hunter. I don't fucking get. McKelty's the name married Hunter. and she's 21. Hunter's a name. I Hunter. don't. I don't get the name Hunter. Where the fuck does it's, Hunter come from? It's just a name, you know. It's fucking stupid. I'm more concerned about the name Payton. P A E D O N. <laughs> wait, wait, there isn't. Wait, are, is Logan Taylor that's, that's a first last? Where are the last names? What the hell? Is it Payton? Is it Payton Brown? Yeah, I guess so. Robert Garrison. David. Robert Dayton. Garrison is a fucking badass name, though. You, you roll up to the, you roll up to the Battle of Gettysburg, and you say, "My name is Lieutenant Robert Garrison Brown, and I'm here to relieve you from duty." And people would be, people would drop their bayonets. That's all I'm saying. No, they would drop their panties. Uh, there weren't too many people wearing panties in the Battle of Gettysburg, Zach. You don't fucking know that. There uh, could have been cross dressers. I, I don't think that was very common at the time, Zach. As somebody well, with a with a college education, <laughs> you know, I don't care. Your college education isn't even about history. Uh, actually, I... that up your ass. <laughs> anyway, so one of their kids' names David... is Truly Grace, and where it's number sixteen? Oh. They're oh. like numbered too. Like that's that's weird. Why would you number your kids? She's only seven years old. We got Savannah. I mean, they just had a new one. Isabel Page. Aurora Alice. This Wikipedia page hasn't been updated in a year. All of their, all of their birth all of their ages are off by a year. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Na- we got Alex James as the only grandchild. No, no, that's Axel Ax- James. Fuck, it's... Oh, he's like Guns and... They really like Guns and Roses, don't they? Shit, maybe I should get five wives or how many wives he had. Then I can have 18 kids and name them all names. What would you name your named children? Uh, well, let's look up. What are the top children names 2017? Let's see. <clears throat> Most popular be- from Baby Center. Okay. Number one is Jackson and Sophia, which I can get that. Uh, Liam and Olivia. I can't name my kid Liam because my aunt is a dog named Liam, and I, I don't want to name my Coming kid. up with the name oh, that God. your baby is supposed to use for the rest of... Yeah, that of- popped up for me, too. <laughs> oh, well, that's going to be in the podcast. <laughs> oh, oh, well. We got Emma and Noah at number three. Ava and Aiden. I'm just glad there's an... It doesn't say fucking Khaleesi on here or some shit. Like number Khaleesi. one was Khaleesi or something. Khaleesi? Yeah. <laughs> like the bread? No, like the fucking Mother of Dragons from Game of Thrones, say. I don't fucking watch Game of Thrones, really. Yeah, well, that's your own fault. Well, you know what? Number 14's Muhammad. Look, at I went on to Mom365, and they have different ranks. All oh. I'm saying is the number, the number 10 is Mia. Well, you know what? On babycenter.com, we got Harper for girls at 16. Well, according to the Social Security Agency, which has a list of baby names, (laughs) weirdly, that is strange. But I guess... Here's a good one from the BBC UK Scotland. You got the top sky. <laughs> Did you just drop something because of that? <laughs> well, yeah, no, I was really <laughs> entranced. Okay, we got the top Scottish baby names for 2017 revealed. 
Scottish. So, so, so if you're Scottish, fuck, I think this is not Scottish. I thought it's actually Scottish, love, but it's good enough, you it, know. Yeah, it's good enough. So, um, number one, we got Jack. Oh, you Jack. Got, uh, a good, good, strong Oliver. Scottish name. Got Oliver. Oliver. We got James. James. Lewis. 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 That's not. A, that doesn't seem very Scottish, but. It's, it's we got Noah names. and Logan. No, it's just a biblical name. That's not a Scottish name at all. We've got Harrison and Alexander. Aye, Harrison. People We've are still Leo. naming their kids after Harrison Ford. Ah, oh, he's a great, great car salesman. Great man. Great man, Harrison Ford. But what's he yes. up to these days? I know he uh, was just in Star Wars. No. Uh, not, not the new Star Wars, but the Star Wars oh, before. Oh, yeah. Harrison, let's look, you know, let's look him up. His Wikipedia page. Uh, weirdly, he was born on July 13th, 1942, during World War II. Huh. Alright. He has, he has five children. Does he? He fucking just married someone in 2010. Yeah, apparently he's had uh, three wives. Mary Marta Quart. Melissa Matheson and Kalista Flockhart. Apparently, he is a licensed pilot of both fixed wing aircraft yeah. and helicopters. No, I knew that one because he crashed a bunch of times. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that was an issue for Star Wars. Aviation, actually. yeah, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, he crashed in 1999, 2015, and 2017. God, wow. God damn it, Harrison Ford! Are you gotta stop crashing. Uh, apparently, he is an archaeologist, uh, just like Indiana Jones. Yes, which you know he is in real life, I guess as well now. Very interesting. Very. Strange. I don't know. I don't know why I'm talking like this now. Uh, I don't. I don't know either. But uh, looks it's... like he was in the Widowmaker movie. Uh, K-19, The Widowmaker. I didn't know that existed, but uh, apparently they were talking about Overwatch in 2002. He uh, He's in the film 42. I uh, I don't know what... He was in The Expendables 3, and I... What? There's an Indiana Jones 5 coming out in 2020? Is there? Shit. Yes, if you go <laughs> to... Yeah, Mark. I see that. Shit. <laughs> eh? Looks like we got something to... We'll do a podcast reviewing Indiana Jones 5 when it comes out. Yeah. You know. Oh, shit. While yeah, we're he was in Cowboys reviews. and Aliens. Did you ever see Cowboys and Aliens? No, I that didn't. That was a shit movie, but it was a good shit movie. Like, you know. A real good shit like, movie. All right. So, so Star Wars. Uh, the Last Jedi. Oh, uh, we, we shouldn't talk about f- that. People have, the people aren't going to have seen it yet, Zach. We, we no, can't how s- do you feel about Harrison Ford being in it? What? The Last Jedi? Yeah, remember? He was a Force ghost, right? Oh, yeah, when Harrison Ford came back as a Force ghost, that blew me for a loop. Oh, that was fucking great. And you think Harrison Ford, in character, for, as Han Solo, would think that Uber should be regulated like a transport company? Wait, <laughs> did, did he bring... <laughs> Did he bring up that in the movie? Yeah, he mentioned that in the movie. One of the things he said was, Luke. Was he just bitching about Ubers? Luke, in, in, my second, in my second life, I am an Uber driver. Do you think they should be regulated like a transport company, Luke? <laughs> was he haunting his son about this? Yes, he was also haunting Kylo. <laughs> he's, he's like, Brown... <laughs> Do you think I should be taxed? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what do you think? Do you think he do you think he's for regulating Uber like a transport company or not? Who, Kylo? <laughs> no, Harrison Ford. In character is Han Solo. <laughs> I thought he was asking other people. He was, but what do you think? He had to have some kind of underlying feeling to ask others. What do you think he well, was I... he was thinking? What was in his head? I... In his ghostly well, head, Zach. Well, well, what was the question again? <laughs> In character as Forced Ghost Han Solo, what do you think Harrison Ford's view on if Uber should be regulated like a transport company would be? I think he'd be against it so he could make more money. Uh, but what if he was an Uber driver? 
Well, wouldn't he make more money? Yes. <laughs> then I think he'd be against it. But what if he was a uh, an, an anti-transport are, are you, activist? Are, are you saying that he was an Uber and he he used? I'm saying that in force... Star Wars no, no, he no, was no, no, an no, Uber no. because he drove no, the Millennium hey, Falcon. Hey, yes, and... exactly. He, there's a Force Ghost Millennium Falcon that he drives as an Uber yes. on Coruscant. Yeah, and Krakatoa. When they stopped the off at Krakatoa, that was interesting. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was really good in the film. I was really confused by the Emperor. You know, I don't know why he was there, because he's supposed to be dead, right? Yeah, I was pretty confused when Krakatoa started exploding. And Why Why were they on ancient Earth anyway? doesn't make much sense. <laughs> they said it was a long, long time ago. Krakatoa wasn't that long ago. That's all I'm saying. You don't know what but Krakatoa is, do you? <laughs> Well, I was asking, why was the Emperor there? Uh, well, he started Krakatoa. Oh, but he's dead. Uh, yeah, but he came back to life. Oh, so why can't Harrison Ford... I mean, Han Solo do that? Uh, because uh, Han Solo is an Uber driver, Zach. Oh, He's locked into a contract. Choose? Oh, he's yeah. in a contract? Yeah. So, who's he locked in with? Well, it got regulated like a transport company, so... The government... So, so who's the government, though, for dead people? Uh, no, Zach, that's a question. Have you ever seen Beetlejuice? <laughs> Actually, I haven't. Uh, well, in Beetlejuice, there's some kind of, like, dead people, like, it seems like an office, honestly, and they just, like, you know, talk about being yeah, dead Like, like the show Office, like, st with Steve Carell? Was Steve, is Steve Carell... Han Solo's boss? Is that what you're saying? Yes, actually, Steve Carell is Han Solo's boss. And they both work for Kim.com. So they're all dead? Except for Kim.com, yes. Is that a man or a website? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's both. Oh, okay. <laughs> so... It's the guy who so, won't make so, it upload. So Kim.com owns Uber in the afterlife? They're all force ghosts, and he's, and he has Harrison Ford as Han Solo, as a force ghost contracted with the Millennium Falcon force ghost to be an Uber driver, but the sales are plummeting because they're being taxed and regulated like, uh, like trains. Yes, and that's why we shouldn't have the UN. So are you saying we should boycott Return of the Sith? No, I'm saying we should boycott the, the next Jedi, which is going to be the next Star Wars movie. You heard it here first. It's going to be called The Next Jedi. Yeah, we have an exclusive uh, on that. Little do you guys know, I'm actually personal friends with George Lucas. Um, I mean, that, that, doesn't have, that doesn't mean anything. And George Lucas is personal friends with the guy at Disney who names the movies. So he told so, me that his personal wait, so he, friend... He's not, even, he's not even friends with the guy directing the film, J.J. <laughs> Abrams? No, it's, they hate each other. Big rivalry. Big rivalry. Well, I, I can see why. Yeah, you know. New Star Trek films. Whew. After J.J., after big Star Trek had Anton Yelchvich killed. Who? who? Uh, the guy who played... Uh, uh, what's his face? Uh, let me see. You never heard about that? Who? One of the one of the guys in uh in in the new Star Trek movies, Anton Yelchin. He played Chekhov in the new Star the new Star Trek movies. Oh, the Russian guy. Yeah, he was found killed outside of his house, scrushed, squished between his car and a wall. Was it cuz he was gay? I, no, I don't I don't think I, I don't I don't think he was gay, Zach. Well, I mean, why else would that happen? Did God hate him? What? What? No, what? He, he definitely wasn't gay. <laughs> How do you know? Were you friends with him? Yes. Is that, is that part of the connection? Was Was George Lucas friends with him? What does him having to be gay? Died, <laughs> and, he, and, he, and, he, and he was the guy. guy. That named, and he was the guy that named Star Wars until they killed him because he's gay. They made bad film. I, I don't think it had anything to do with him being gay, Zach. <laughs> I don't think he was gay. Are you, are you saying J.J. Abrams killed him? 
No, I'm saying he was he fled the Soviet Union under Stalin to the United States. And his mother was a figure skating choreographer, and his father was a figure skating coach, and who Are was Sasha Cohen's right first now? trainer. No, I want to be reading this in Wikipedia. I just know all these facts about Anton Yelfitch off the top of my head. Can you even pronounce his name correctly? Nope. <laughs> Did I you know he to... went to the Sherman Oaks Center for Enriched Studies in Tanzania, California? I didn't know that place was a thing. Yeah. I didn't know that existed until now, and I already forgot the name. The Sherman Oaks Center for Enriched Studies, also known as Sherman Oaks CES or SOCES. It's a magnet public school in the San Francisco Valley, Los Angeles, California, United States. So, you know what I'm excited for? Uh, I'm excited for Shrek 4. Are they making a Shrek 4? Uh, let's, you know, let's see. Uh, Shrek Forever uh, After, it already exists. Okay, no, sorry. Shrek 5. Let's see. <laughs> Is there a fucking Shrek 5? I will be so Wait, mad. wait, there's actually, by Polygon, there's yeah. a 29... It's coming out in 2019 by Andrew Adamson. Shrek 5 will completely reinvent the series. It is currently in development, in case you had forgotten. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, made by, the, it's made by the same guy who made Boss Baby. <laughs> he made Madagascar 4? Wait, that's not out yet. Wait. He didn't do that. That's just in related search. Oh. This guy looks like a serial killer. Who? The, oh, the director. Is he that... looks like a fucking serial killer. He reminds me of Eminem. <laughs> what? what? Where, where, where is Eminem in, in this man's face? Shrek? <coughs> Uh, Wait, Shrek, Shrek looks like Eminem? N never mind. <laughs> Mike Myers, it's unclear if Mike Myers, Cameron Diaz, or Eddie Murphy will return. But they were all in the fourth film. Well, it would make sense that they were in it. It would make sense, but... I didn't know they were actually going to make a fucking fifth Shrek movie. I'm mad about that. I'm going to go back to Twitter and see if there's a different topic. Uh, are we just on Twitter now? <laughs> Uh, that's where I've been getting my topics from. <laughs> so, how do you feel that Disney now owns The Simpsons? Do you think the show might be fucking again? Uh, I'm not. I'm not too big on the Disney. The Disney deal. Disney Fox. You don't deal. like not... that Disney now owns pre pretty much fucking everything that you Disney go to movies for. Disney owns forty percent of the movie market now. I'm not too big on that. That's a pretty big monopoly. You don't you know? like that they now have X Men. Yeah, but people are blowing that out of proportion. There's some bad, bad sides to this. Like what? The fact that they own 40% and that's, you know, a fucking... We could have an Aliens movie every fucking year just like Star Wars. Don't you want that? Yeah, but Disney also bought Hulu during that, so all the Disney movies are going to come off of... Uh, or anything Disney owns is going to come off of Netflix. Go on to Disney. Let me go on to Hulu. Like, there's, there's a lot of bad stuff. Do you even watch their stuff on Netflix? Uh, actually, I watched uh, Rogue One on Netflix recently. That's, uh... Oh, wait, that does count as a Disney film. Yeah, it's owned by Disney now. Fuck. So... Wait, oh, can I swear on this podcast? I didn't ask. Uh, well, I've been fucking swearing this whole time, so I guess so. You know, I honestly wasn't paying attention my microphone is slowly the the thing is slowly moving down my crotch and i'm just kneeling my head down more i'm gonna readjust okay uh so uh how do you feel about uh, let me let me look at the uh the big hashtags at the moment how do you feel about bernard law actually let's not go into that i know who that is I I don't know who that is anyways. <laughs> he was a priest who um, molested a bunch of kids or something. Uh, he just died. Oh. <laughs> like, well, I'm going to look in this now. Uh, are people upset or are they happy? Uh, I, think they're, I think they're all happy. Um, he looks like a child uh, diddler. It's like this. Never mind. 
Uh, how do you feel about uh, Bob Kraft's new uh, new foray into uh, the esports market with the purchasing of Boston Uprising? Is is that a just now thing? Uh, it's it's been a thing for a couple months now. It's the new um, Overwatch I, I, team. I didn't actually hear about this, and I kind of don't really care. It's the new Boston Overwatch. Well, I'm going for our sponsor, for our potential sponsors. I'm going to pretend that I really care. Yeah, if you want to sponsor this podcast, please reach out to us at matlantisgaming at gmail.com. And also support us on Patreon. We're going to make one after this. Uh, we're not going to make a Patreon. We're not Philip DeFranco. <laughs> but a lot of people use Patreon. Also, my peas are being very puh. Yeah, I can tell. Puh, 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 puh. So why don't, why, why don't you want a Patreon? Because we're, not, why are we're you, not Philip DeFranco. Why? Why are you against us getting money for free? I don't want to rip off our our one fan, Zach. We're not. Nobody's gonna watch this. <laughs> we're just Hell, talking I don't about, even know if it's gonna be uploaded. <laughs> we're just talking about sister wives, and that's funny. <laughs> it's entertaining, and we're self. Um, we're self starters. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say. I don't know the exact word, so I'm going to not say did it. We ever, did we ever come up with a name for this? Two, two Guys, One Cup? Was that the name? <laughs> do, do, do you want to be called... Do you want to, do you want to call we, the, the Bernard Law... <laughs> can we pick up the Bernard, the Bernard Law Show? <laughs> the Bernard Law Show. <laughs> no, I don't think that's in good taste. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's I just, topical. I just really don't want our podcast it really associated rolls, with... It really rolls off the tongue. I just don't want our podcast associated with somebody involved in the Vatican sex scandal. <laughs> well, I thought all publicity was all good right, publicity. how about this? Let me go to a random name generator. No, this is going to turn out horrible. <laughs> no, no, no. How, no. Okay. how about we're called Vegas <laughs> No, we we don't want to get demonetized. Yet. Oh. <laughs> All right. Wait, we want. This is going to be monetized. A first name, which gender? Uh, masculine. Generate life story. Uh, sure. Generate a name. <laughs> what what do right. we got? Uh, we got Vivianus Prakash. Uh, what the, what the fuck is that? I'm gonna choose a different one. Uh. That's a shit one. I don't know how to pronounce that. None of these are English. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to name ourselves after Werner Dimitri? That sounds like a real name. Yeah, these are real names. That's, that's what I'm doing. No. How about we call ourselves the Senate? Here, let me... Let me all right, let's do mythology names. Ancient names. Biblical how about, names. How about... How about we call us the Star Killers? Uh, no, Zach. That's we're we're gonna get arrested for that one. <laughs> I don't I don't want to get sued by why? the newly powerful Disney. I mean, they were already powerful before this. All right. How about we call ourselves the Jesus Albert Reich Show? The Jesus Albert Reich Show. <laughs> that's what popped up. How about, you know, I kind of like it. Jesus Albert, like. <laughs> you want to do it? Now on Matt Lantis. Or how about. The Jesus Albert Reich show. <laughs> how about the Fulco Quintillus show? With the what? The Fulco Quintillus show. The folk. The Fulco Quintillus show. I, I can't. Folk what? Fulco Quintillus. I, I like the Jesus Albert, Albert Reich. Reich show. C can that we be called that? The Jesus Albert Reich show. That's such a shit. Name. You know, but it's not the worst. All it's right. gonna, it's gonna produce clicks. We're gonna, we're gonna think about that one. We're gonna leave that one on the back burner. Okay, I mean, we could be. Want to be called Marshall? Just, just Marshall. The Marshall, Marshall show. Yeah, the Marshall Law Show. We're in no way associated with the Bernard Law Show. <laughs> the Marshall Law. We spell it like M-A-R-T-I-A-L. 
like <laughs> like fucking uh man I'm trying to use this fucking thing to get a web series name how about we call ourselves the zombie witch show the or zombie the, witch what the uh the marsh boy the marsh boy emporium show uh, no how about the marsh boys <laughs> yeah we'll be the or the golden fails the golden the golden snails or the digital exposed I heard digital exposed and I thought of the FCC <laughs> hey the FCC is a great company no no it isn't <laughs> alright here we go let's do a, a wow name generator generate wow names wait you're using a world of warcraft name generator <laughs> Yeah, why not? Oh, here, there's a YouTube name generator. This will this will oh. be good, everybody. Uh, so it can be called the uh, the lonely vlogger. That that sounds too depressing. None of these are like good. I was hoping we get another Jesus Albert Reich show. I think we should just be called the <laughs> Jesus Albert Reich show until we decide a better name. Right, let me just make sure this wasn't a real guy. It's not somebody named Jesus Albert Reich. How do you spell Reich? I don't want to spell it the, the Hitler way. <laughs> well, I mean, that's how I spelt it. And uh, Reich Sonic Jesus. Reich by Sonic Jesus, released 23rd November 2013. This Reich is hungry and holds the reins in my Lux. Right. I feel you fall from the clouds in my Lux. Ich bin victim This of is Reich. how we're spelling it. They are the rulers. They are the fame. Old snakes of plaster jeweled upon the head old day of disaster new day to be clown this is my missing albert <laughs> that's that's how we're spelling it say the, the the jesus albert right to show okay <laughs> i can live with that <laughs> all right everybody thank you for tuning in to the first episode of the of jesus, the jesus albert albert Reich Reich show. Show. fuck yeah i hope you enjoyed our talk about sister wives and Harrison yeah. Ford and I don't, I don't know what the fuck we talked about for a half hour. And pedophiles. <laughs> the Bernard Law Show. Don't watch that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Don't don't look that up. To point out, we are no way associated with the Bernard Law Show. Um, anyway, have a good day. Actually, I don't think there's actually a show. I, I hope just not. just added that. Love you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>